Hello everyone. Reverend Deanna here and welcome to our midweek reflection for the first week of Lent. And if you don't know what Lent is, that's okay. It is a season within the church. It's actually the 40 days prior to Easter Sunday, but not including the Sundays in the days, just the weekdays. And it's before Easter. And it Lent is generally in the Christian faith, a time of penitence, which is like uh, thinking about our behavior, the things that have been maybe less than our faith calls us to. Some might refer to them as sins, uh, but the things that separate us from our relationship with God, which is what a sin is. And so the, the Lent is a time of looking at how we behave, how we live, and calling us to be more, to return, to repent, and the, repent is actually um, part of, comes from a Greek word, uh, I think it's Greek, metanoia, which means to return. And so it, it's, a repentance is about returning to God. And so it's something that most of us have to do again and again and again um, to return to God. And so it's fitting that um, uh, someone that I follow, a Lutheran pastor, Reverend Nadia Bowles Weber from the States, posted, uh, shared an, uh, an article that she'd written uh, several years ago for, for Ash Wednesday, which is today. Uh, and she shared this quote from the book of Joel, chapter 2, and it says, Yet even now, says the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Rend your hearts and not your clothing. Return to the Lord your God, for God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and abounding in steadfast love. And so it's that return to God with all your heart that we're going to talk about today. Um, like I said, this is Ash Wednesday, and I'll explain a bit more about that in a minute. But yesterday was Shrove, we call it Shrove Tuesday, or uh, you might have heard it called Pancake Day, or it's also Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras, it, uh, Carnival, um, all of these festivals, these feasts, are rooted in a medieval tradition where communities would gather together and feast. They'd bring out all their stuff, uh, alcohol and fat and pork and all the stuff that they weren't supposed to consume during their fasting time. And they would just have this massive feast and get rid of it so that they weren't tempted with it in their houses. And so that's where these festivals, Mardi Gras and Shrove Tuesday, come from. And so yesterday we did. We gathered and we feasted on pancakes, which, you know, come from like the fat and the sugar. And, and we also had uh, sausages. And so we feasted and feasted and feasted. And today is the very first day of Lent, Ash Wednesday. And Ash Wednesday is the start of Lent where we are reminded of our humble beginnings because we are told we, we get ashes on our forehead and we are told that we are dust and to dust we shall return. Which you might think sounds a bit bleak, but it is reminding us of our beginnings, of the story of how humanity... Um, was was formed by when when God took some dust of the earth, mixed it with His spittle, and breathed life and created humanity. And so we are dust, and to dust we shall return. And it's also reminding us 
Um, uh, it, Ash Wednesday is the challenge to very visibly proclaim our faith as we get ashes often in the sign of a cross. And because today is Valentine's Day, you may see some making it in the shape of a heart and walking around with them on their forehead all day uh, because the challenge is also to proclaim your faith outwardly, not just carry it inside. And so um, that is the challenge of Ash Wednesday, to, re to humbly remember that we where where we belong that we are human and humans got created in God's image to return our hearts to God and to let the world know by proclaiming it um, on our foreheads <laughs> so those are very visible ways of um, proclaiming our love and so it's actually fitting that Ash Wednesday this year is also Valentine's Day, um, the secular or hallmark holiday where we proclaim our love to each other. And so it is fitting that we return to God with all our heart. And not that we return to God with perfect hearts. It does not say that. It says with our whole heart. And so that is acknowledging that, like that humility we are recall, recalling, that we're not perfect, but God loves us anyways. God loves us as we are, while at the same time calling us to be all that we can be. And so we are called to come with a fullness of our hearts and to not just fill our lives that thing, with things that we think is going to make us feel good, feel better, or to fill some invisible checklist that we think we need to complete before we die. We are to come to God with the, our flawed brokenness um, and just come with our fullness of who we are, full hearts. And so that is the challenge of Lent is to return to God with our whole heart. We are um, doing a worship series about journey, which is exactly that. How do we journey towards God? Journey with our full hearts. How do we deal with the hard in the journey? Uh, all the stuff that comes along with that. And we are um, going to, we have some, devotions that we can share um, on so watch our Facebook page and if you know people who are not on Facebook or would prefer a hard copy please have them contact our office and we can share um, a hard copy of these devotions that we have for the season of Lent and yeah it's um and just to remember, I guess the last thing is that the metanoia, the repentance, the returning, it's n most often not something we need to do just once. We need to do it again and again, almost daily, by the minute. And so offer yourself grace as you move through this reflective season and um as you move through your lives and know that wherever you are, you are not alone. So friends, that is our midweek reflection for the first Sunday of Lent. Take care and God be with you all. Amen.